My name is Bloodstone and welcome back to another episode. Um, actually, today is a special video. Um, I actually haven't thought about it. And um, for some reason, it just popped up in my head. Um, as, you, as you guys know, I used to play... I, I still play a game called IFSCL. Um, and this game is uh, a very common game right now uh, for a little community that I know. Um, so actually, I just been curious today. Um, I haven't thought about all of a sudden showing you guys how to download the game for all the people who have wanted to play it. Um, I never thought about it actually, like, you know, I just play the game, I record videos about it and all that. But I haven't, I haven't, um, like, you know, um, realized that some people might not know how to download it. So today is just a little basic tutorial of how can you guys download this game. So to start with it, so let me show you real quick. So what you gotta do is just open your browser and um, go to Google. And all you gotta do is type in download IFSCL. And once you do that, it's gonna take you to the first website. It's called en, which is English, dot codeleocode.fr. I don't know what is that for it represented for. But if you go to the website, it's it's a pretty simple website. It just tells you everything about the game. It has media stuff, like all the soundtracks, it has uh, stuff about the story, it has news, it had episode guide, it has everything. It has everything about Xana, all the information about monsters, about places, files, everything guys. It just tells you everything about the um, the the cartoon series as well as you know the actual series as well as the game and uh, I would like to thank the actual creator of this game which is Emu um, I actually would wonder where is his name uh, it should be on this website um, let me let me see it's a fan game so you know guys it's, it's for all the people who have been uh, waiting for this uh, game um, one thing, uh, let me see, know, maybe it's on the bottom of the, yeah, so it's pretty much here, uh, it represents all the people who have been working on the game, and all the last registered members, it tells you everything about the website, it tells you about every everything about this community, so this game started very basic, and I, I can't tell you enough, guys, as I watched this game grow up, I got just so obsessed with it. And like, just look at this, guys. It started from Alpha, which is in 2010. It started from 2010, and now it's 2020, guys. It's been 20 years for the game. It's it has really been a 20 years since the game got released uh, by Emu. The first actual release was in 2011, but this project has started from 2010, guys. And I'm just so excited, and I'm so proud of this man. He worked so hard and he did so much effort in this game. I just would like to thank him so much. He did what nobody else could have done. And like me myself personally, I wouldn't have thought about, you know, uh, doing a game like that um, by myself. It's a lot of effort. Even his trailers um, are just so amazing. So if you go in this website, you'll see every single update that the game had. Um, and what you can easily do is, uh, right now he has a new thing. It's a call. It's called an auto updating version. It's called the Colossus Launcher. Launcher, I mean. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Uh, so it's really easy. All what you gotta do is just left click download, and it's gonna actually download the file for you. And once the file is done, you can just. Okay, I'm sorry. This is just an error. So once the file is already over, you can just go over here. Here's the file, guys. It's nothing complicated. All you gotta do is just double click it. Um, if you have an antivirus, it's just gonna check it. No worries, no issues. Uh, me personally, I didn't have any issues, but I don't know about anybody else. So I just give it permissions and I click for whatever language you have, you want: Espanol, French, 
French, Italian, uh, Pulaski, English, like, I mean, English. I, I just choose English because, you know, I, I speak English. So you just gotta click next, you uh, hit accept for the terms and everything. And uh, seriously, all what you gotta do is just choose where you wanna install the game. Me personally, I would just install it over here in games and click next. I don't wanna, I don't wanna have a start menu folder, so I'll just click don't. And create a shortcut on the desktop, yes, and that's, that's it, that's pretty much it. Once the game is over, this is the launcher um, installation. You just gotta launch it, let it install the game and download it. From now, this is how the launcher should be. Like, it tells you about the website, it's saying that it, changes about the, it tells you about the change log, which is like, you know. So the change log tells you every single update that the game is going through. If there's anything like, it, it tells you about the plan, like for example, what's expected in the next version, what expected, what's expected in the version after, what are the bugs that he's working on a fix, as well as his team. I don't know if he works by himself or by or or with a team, but honestly, this man did so much effort in this game. He has a Discord channel, he has a YouTube website, he has a Facebook page, he uh, he has a lot. He has a lot of stuff that you guys can check. And this is his latest trailer. If you guys look at this trailer, it's just amazing. And here you can change your options. You can hit the Colossal the Colossus Launcher updates, data shared on Discord, select your language, close Colossus on Game Start. You can choose your options over here. And this is the installation folder, but this is after you install the game. So basically what you gotta do is just hit install and the game will automatically just install itself. It's a very easy process, no one need to worry about anything, the game doesn't take any time actually to install, it's just 400 megabit, like pretty much if you estimate it about 450, 460 megabit total for the whole game as well as the installation folder and everything. So yeah, it's it's a really basic thing and um, this launcher, any update that this game has, it automatically updates it or whenever you open that launcher. It tells you, oh, there is an update that needs to be made. You can update it right away. So it's really easy. It's not that hard, guys. Um, I just want to show you what happens after this launcher finish. But until then, uh, let me just take you and show you that trailer. It's really nice. I just loved it. I just loved it so much. You guys can go ahead and take a look at it right now. It's just amazing. Alright guys, it's really just amazing how he um, actually did all that and uh, as you guys can see the graphics of the game, this is just a heads up of how the game should be like and uh, how the story should look like. These are just simp simple you know, demos of the graphics that should be in the game and I'm expecting a lot to happen in this game. This project has been up for 10 years and it's still going up, hopefully for like uh the next 
you know a, a few years i hope that this project is is over soon because i can't wait until i see the full game it's gonna be so amazing and i will make sure guys that i do the actual story as live i will do my best to make this go live immediately and as you guys can see he worked a lot for this he really worked a lot for this game to be released so he he did a lot it took him a lot of effort i'm sure so yeah i really got i want you all to thank this man he worked so hard for this amazing project for us for all the fans of ifscl and all the fans of code lyoko he worked so hard to get this project going up and also one of the things that i wanted to point out in this video um the reason why i haven't been posting anything lately is because i am working on a a serious good project for this game not like um creating something in the game or something like that but like videos wise uh but for now let me just show you this real quick uh the game and i just don't need this so i'm just oh well the game is about to start okay so this is another page that opens i'm sorry i'm just gonna trash this because i don't need it so this is the page of the game and the logo of each uh update so i'm sure this logo will change when the next update come out for me it works at 144 hertz on uh, 1920 80 pixel you can choose your resolution from here and how many pixels you want in it uh and you can choose the quality of the graphics for me insane works perfectly and i just chose to do it in full screen so now the game is going to start and pretty much that's it pretty much that's it so here you go guys this is the game and of course he gave you that warning where the game is still under development for more than eight years but yeah it's it's been 10 years guys for, for like within development it took a lot of effort to work on this project so yeah um so you can check out his website this is the graphics and audio and everything this is your options menu uh i don't have any screenshots of the game you can choose the language from here you can reset all your options this is here the options in the game as you guys can see and here if you want to do a quick start this i'm just going to show an example real quick uh but i'm not going to play anything for now uh because again i'm working on another project for the game hopefully it it comes out good hopefully the outcomes of this as of this project i'm sorry is good uh, so yeah, with that being said, the game is right here, so yeah. Now you have the interface of Kill Lyoko, Xana attacked, but I'm not going to do anything right now, because, uh, I'm sorry, I don't have enough time right now. So yeah, uh, this was just a demonstration for you guys. This is another options menu. I'm sure everybody who plays this game knows about this. No need to explain myself, and no need to explain any of that, but maybe in the other, maybe in another sooner episode or another video, I'll explain everything about this uh, menu but yeah for now that's it uh, and thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and as always um, I'll see you guys in the next video and see you all soon